good morning uh, from San Francisco, AIC Annual Meeting. Uh, my name is John Chen. I'm a retired faculty from Lehigh University. I'm very pleased to be here with our guests to talk about chemical engineering, its future employment, and the needs for chemical engineers. We have three speakers with us who are represent three very important industries to chemical engineers. Uh, chemicals, petroleum and gas, and pharmaceuticals. Together, the three industries employ almost half of all chemical engineers active in industry. So these gentlemen represent a big chunk of, quote, the marketplace for chemical engineers. Um, I'd like to introduce them to the audience at this time. We'll start with Steve Palin. Steve is uh, principal of a um, uh, consulting company, um, Elixir Pharma Consulting. Um, before he formed the company, he was vice president for many years of um, technology, global technology for Merck, representing the pharmaceutical industry. Next to Steve is uh, Dr. Ashok Krishna. Uh, he is vice president uh, for technology downstream and chemicals at Chevron, representing the petroleum industry. And on my right is Dr. Ru Cruz. He is Director of Research and Development uh, for Dow Chemicals and will be speaking for the chemical industry. Gentlemen, welcome and thank you for being with us. Uh, I know that the young engineers that I well, students about to graduate will be very interested in your viewpoints on this. So, let me ask to start off, for each of your industries, could you briefly describe the competence and talents that you look for in your young chemical engineers? Well, really? the solid technical skills are the main aspect we look for, and they are the key deciding factor on when we interview and hire someone. And the ability to use those technical skills on solving the very challenging problems we have in the industry. And also then all the pluses are the soft skills, how they manage projects, how they can communicate their results, and how can they interact with others in other departments, functions, and sciences in the company. I would agree. That's very similar to what Chevron expects. I think uh, solid grounding in chemical engineering fundamentals the ability to take that theory that they've learned and apply it in practice. And I think right from the beginning of their careers, they're going to be wanting to communicate and convince uh, people of either their projects or their, their ideas. And so articulating ideas, I think, is another key, key attribute. That's a great point. Uh, so I'll just emphasize as well that um, the fundamentals of chemical engineering is your entry ticket. To, to the game, and uh, you know, without that, you know, we wouldn't we wouldn't even be looking at anybody. But then, I, I've done a lot of recruiting over the over the years with Merck, and uh, you know, I don't have a lot of time to talk about technical. I assume that a person comes to the table with that. So I focus on the soft skills, the leadership, communication, being able to apply and problem solve. Uh, those things are critical to an employee's success um, once they they show up um, in industry. Well, I, I'm hearing a, a lot of similarities in emphasis uh, when each of you have mentioned fundamentals of chemical engineering. I uh, would take that to mean the core subjects of chemical engineering. What we, each of us, uh, study primarily an undergraduate with extension into graduate education. But all three of you also have emphasized the soft skills, the ability to communicate, leadership, teamwork. Yeah, that, that, that sums it up very well. And I would just say from the pharma industry, we have an extremely diverse portfolio of processes. And so there's no way that you, know, you can teach all those. And so it's the application of the fundamentals to these varied processes. And I think that's the, that's the case in all three of the that's industries. Right. Okay. In the case of uh, petroleum industry, does that apply to both upstream and downstream? It does actually, John. In fact, you know, the upstream business is booming, as you know, the oil and gas business is booming, and so they've been uh, asking for more and more people from the downstream to come in, because facilities in upstream now, gas processing, uh, heavy oil upgrading, are looking more like downstream businesses. And so in addition to, to, to meeting our own retirement wave issues in downstream, 
we now have to recruit people to be able to train them yeah, and pass along that stream. So really the yeah. recruiting part of this is really going to boom as we look for more and more people going forward. Okay. So. And Rui, I know my own um, random observations. Uh, the chemical industry, the companies have to some degree been evolving. Okay, their, their product line certainly evolving in terms of changes. But has the skill set remained the core has remained the same? The core remains the same. So what changes is the end application. Now we have processes which are working in conditions quite more challenging than in the past or with fluids and, and solids which are a bit more challenging but knowing well the unit operations, the transport phenomenon, we will allow them to apply it either in very traditional areas of chemical feedstocks or in some fringe areas where we actively develop applications like electronics, mm -hmm. food and pharma, agricultural applications. Okay. Well, I'm hearing a, a pretty good tips to the students. Uh, emphasize the core competence technically. For sure. But learn the soft skills too. Definitely. Or practice the soft skills. Sorry. Let me ask one other question. Again, speaking for my students, um, we just went through a period of recession where unemployment in the country was high. So everybody's interested in employment opportunities, specifically for chemical engineers. How does it look in your three industries? I believe the outlook is extremely positive. We, with the growth of the chemical industry, and especially now with a rebirth in chemical industry in North America, with opportunities around shale, uh, and also the eternal competition we'll have with oil industry, and other applications where and chemical engineers are extremely valuable, like the food industry, the pharma industry, and even now much more in electronics. I agree. I think our petrochemical uh, industry uh, connections as well, I can see significant growth. And as I mentioned earlier, the upstream business is booming, and the downstream needs to, uh, needs to replace the workforce that's about to retire. So we see very significant increase in, in, in employment. Yeah, for the pharma industry, I, I think we've seen over the last number of years a, uh, you know, some merging and some consolidations and things like that that have, you know, placed pressures on the hiring. However, I think um, we're at the point where that's going to, you know, cease a little bit, and I think we will see some growth. What I would offer up is that we are a very global industry, and so I think um, having a global perspective, the graduates, and being able to work in different cultures around the world because our supply chains are, you know, extremely varied across the world. And, and so being able to, you know, pick up and move and, and go different places uh, is going to be very valuable. But I think the outlook is good. Is the global aspect also there for the chemical and the petroleum industry? Or very much so. I think more than half of our employees are outside the United States. So, and the growth is predominantly where the oil is, as we often say, oil and gas is, and then a lot of it's outside the, the USA. So, yeah. And it's the same for the chemical industry. Oh. We see very consistent global growth, growth for chemical okay. engineers. Well, uh, I, I hear a, a great deal of consistency, which makes it a little bit easier for the academics in terms of what we should emphasize. I'm not sure we do it quite well enough, but um, uh, what you've said, uh, in terms of the opportunities is that it's there, continues to be there, and may in fact grow for chemical engineering. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Very good. Thing. I'm very glad because I have several of my children. In this <laughs> Tell them to become chemical engineers. <laughs> very good. Well, well, thank you all for being here with us. Uh, and I should just mention that uh, we look forward to your participation in the annual meeting of AICG plenary session, which we will express uh, or examine more aspects of this issue. Thanks Thank for your opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.